Hello YouTube, I'm Music Kev, and this is Pokemon Sun Nuzlocke Challenge. Blind Nuzlocke Challenge, I should say. But that's a mouthful, so I don't. Um, back in Hea Hea City, I was reminded by Artistic how to come here. And because there was a Stoutland blocking the way. You're just going to keep going, aren't you? So that Stoutland is still blocking the way, but he's not blocking the way over in this area, which is new. Ooh, Dimensional Research Lab. Three captains. F water, fire, and grass. That's good to know. The next one specializes in fire, so... I should, um... Probably prepare myself for that. Get the spick and span. Cleaning is like a game, you know? Sure. Oh, look, it's Game Freak. That's her symbol. Clefairy's the cutest. Okay. Finish an awesome song. I'm the game director. It's fun to fill up your Pokedex when you've made some progress. Don't forget to come show it to me. I wonder what the reward is for completing the Pokedex. I think I'll do that maybe as a bonus. That's not a... Le it's not a vitamin. It's a lemonade. No thanks. Okay, so that guy wants me to talk to him whenever I'm done with my island challenge. Um, what color would I choose? Well, I choose blue, because blue is my favorite color. Huh. Okay. Um, if I did cho choose green. Chances of counting a, po a shiny Pokemon are 4,000 to 1. Is that a Team Skull Grunt in the middle of this place? Ooh. Um. Hmm. This. This, um. Aether Foundation. They protect Pokemon that have been hurt. So these are the, um, quote, good guys. I say quote because I am pretty sure that they are the guys who were chasing after Lily. So that's interesting. I wonder if there, there's, oops, I meant to do that. I wonder if there's more of them over at the research labs. What's in here? Nothing. And this one? Nothing. And you. You're new. Huh. Diglett's tunnel. That's basically a guaranteed way to catch Diglett. And since Diglett is an oldie that's been updated, I think I'm going to go ahead and go in the tunnel. Here we go. Free Diglett. Unless it's a Zubat. <sighs> okay. It's fine. It's fine. It doesn't count as the first Pokemon I encountered since I've already caught Zubat. So now I have basically a 50% chance of actually being able to catch a Diglett. Hmm. The Kahuna is talking to them. Oh, Music Kev, was it? Hi, Kahuna. Cave is really something, you know? Overflowing with Pokemon called Diglett. The game really out of hand. Mediocre trainers can't even get through. So how's your island challenge going? Let's see which crystal you learned. You're doing alright. How's that Waterium Z working out for you? Judging by how well your team gets along, I bet you guys can do some real damage with it. Okay, Music Kev. Kawaii's trial is next. Off to the volcano park you go. Are you just going to send me away? Oh, I wonder if the damage is based on how much the Pokemon likes you. But you know what? I do want to... I do want to encounter a Diglett. So, let's see what my Pokemon is for Diglett's Cave. 
Okay, I don't get a Pokemon for Diglett's Cave. Let's see if I remember that later on, but if I don't, I'm sure the comments will remind me or I'll remind myself. And heck, I don't think I was going to even put a Diglett on my team. So, there. Meh. Not whenever I have Almond to uh, be my ground type. Then again, Diglett did have Steel type associated with him. He could have made some serious bulk. But, alright, I guess I'm not going to catch a poke Diglett yet. I think Artistic Hell has one. Hi. Can I... what? Okay, I can't see the professor. Are you gonna... you're not gonna let me go research. Okay. Fine. So that was a bunch of hoopla for nothing. Unless there's anything else that I missed. The Pokemon Center, but that's about where we stopped last time. Diglett's Cave, which I can't go in. And I saw Game Freak with um, the people who were chasing Lily. Maybe it's a big conspiracy. That Game Freak is actually evil. Probably not. That's probably just overstating it. Um, lost my train of thought. I think I was going to Route 7. Come on, Statlin. We're going to Route 7. I think it's up this way. Yes, it is. Okay, I know where I'm going. So they can't do anything in Route 7 except for go into the challenge room. Oh, Volcano Park. Okay. Let me go ahead and switch to Gordo. I, I have not seen any Fire-type Pokemon recently. I can catch a Pokemon here. I mean, I can only catch it before I've started the trial. So now's my time to do a catch. I am curious as to what I'm going to find. I do need a fire type to run out my team. Huh. Okay. Fletchling. I've seen him before. Like, I'm sorry, but... Fletchling's not a um, new Pokemon to me. He evolves into Talonflame. He has the ability to, like, basically speed up your entire team. That's what he's used for in competitive, is he's a, he sets up Tailwind, and then the team just has better speed the entire game. Though Crobot also does that for some teams. I was watching a lot of the VGC back in, um, back in, I think it was December or November. Either way, I've got a Fletchling. And I'm gonna name him or her, I'll have to find out for sure. It's an amiable Pokemon, easy to train. It's battles joined, it shows its ferocious side. I will give Fletchling a name. I'm gonna call Fletchling Ruby. No, you know what? Better idea. I'll name him after, um, the Harry Potter Firebird. I'll name him Fox. Her Fox. And it's never really clear whether Fox is a... Well, you know what? I shouldn't say that because someone in the comments will know better than me whether Fox is a, is a male or a female. But I'm relatively sure that Fox Fox's gender wasn't specified. And if it was specified, it wasn't super clear. I had a feeling... Excuse me. I had a feeling that I was only going to encounter a known Pokemon on here. Oh, that's right. Sightseers. They come from other regions. A regular Meowth. Go for it, Zuzu.
I do like how, I think, I don't know if that's always the case. <laughs> She's taking a selfie. Um, that's funny. I don't know if it's always the case, but I like how the physical moves and the um, non... Oh. Okay, so I can go to the top of the volcano here. I'm not sure if the physical moves are um, different than the non-physical moves all the time. Okay, I need water types. Good job making it high. Why don't, we heal, why don't we heal your Pokemon? Yes, that'd be very nice. Thank you. Okay, I can cut through the tunnel, or I can just go down the mountain the regular way, which I probably will. Okay, I'm going to lead with... You know what? I think I'm going to lead with Almond here. Because Bulldoze can hit two targets, and if... But if it's a flying type... Well, we're going to see what's about to happen. I am Kiwa Kiawe. My Marowak and I are students of the ancient dances that have been passed down to Alola for generations. The trial of Kiawe. You will find it's a bit different than the trials you've faced to this point, but of course you will attempt it, right? Of course. My trial will test your powers of observation. There will be a dance and then another. Your task will be to find the difference between the two. Begin. Oh boy. Okay. One on the right, step forward. Okay. Watch and carefully, me carefully memorize this dance. Um, I think it's the middle one. I think I was right. And now I have to fight the Marowak. And I think he's going to get a horsepower to the face. Oh! Okay, Marowak's not ground. I guess he's fire type. Am I doing it again? Is that all? He was so pleased by your right answer, he simply had to battle you. I will do the second dance. Okay, front facing to the left, front facing to the right, and the back facing one. The hiker. Wait, <laughs> that was the actual answer? <laughs> but, but that's just stupid. I'm sorry, who's missing these questions? He just said, come my fine Marowak, come my fine hiker. Are you, are you joking with me right now? I'm gonna kick him in the face. Lower my accuracy all you want. You're still going to get kicked in the face. Jeez Louise. Oh, now I can't call him back. Ooh, that's intense damage. Okay, look. That's not good. I need to hit. Thank you. Okay. Good job. You're a fool if you dance, and a fool if you just look on. That's true. Alright. <laughs> Kiawe, you're a little bit weird. The final dance. Okay. Um, facing out. Facing up. Hiker doing a thing. Got it. What is that? <laughs> okay, so you really can't get get these right wrong.
What are you? Who? Special defense goes up. Perfect, because Almond deals physical damage. I'm gonna kick him in the face. Get him, boy. Oh! Oh! I know what Pokemon this is now. I'm gonna still kick him in the face. Okay. I thought he had a dual typing with poison. But I guess I was wrong. Um, because fighting type moves are not very effective against poison. So I knew he was... So I know he's only fire type. I think I remember seeing his pre-evolved form in previews. It's basically based off of a salamander. Whoa, spectacular. With your keen observations, you were able to see even fine differences in our dances. They weren't fine differences! Whatever, I got the fiery MZ. I can't use it, because I don't actually have a Pokemon who knows fire moves at this point. I could use my Fletchling just to check it out, but... I might. I think I plan on waiting until I catch a fire Pokemon I'm excited about. Okay. Bye, Marowax. You meet a Pokemon for when we meet a Pokemon that you would like to make your companion take these. Ooh, quick falls. What's more, you may now use the ride Pokemon Charizard. Yes! I can ride a Charizard. Guys, I can ride a Charizard. The feelings of our low and people in our Pokemon, the true nature of sea power. The answers lie in our dance, and so we must dance on. Okay, so I guess I could have caught, caught the Salamander. That's a little bit disappointing to me that I didn't. I wonder when that Zygarde's gonna come to life. Charcoal, that's a nice item. It boosts the power of fire type moves. Right side of the volcano, okay. I'm gonna just keep. Huh. Okay. Oh, hi. Had a little bit of deja vu right there. I feel like I've seen that before. Oh, Kadabra! Hi, Jim. Is it different? It's not different. Lame. I'm going to kick him in the face. Survive it, please. Okay. I forgot how stupidly overpowered cadavers are. Good job, Bowman. Carried me through the trial, and now he's still carrying me. Thanks, Jim. Let's switch out my Pokemon here real quick. We'll use Charlie from here on out. I am curious as to if that Salamander's chilling down here. I'm still in Whale of the Volcano Park, which means I can't catch him if I see him. Yeah, it's another Fletchling. Hmm. Time to get big. I really like that ability. And it's such an interesting 
mechanic to how you look at that Pokemon. It's kind of like... It's kind of like the defeatist version. Like, there's a Pokemon Archeops, which has an ability called defeatist. And whenever he's reduced to a certain hit point level, he just gets weaker. Like, he gives up. It kind of reminds me of that, except less crappy. And there's some places to take pictures here, so let's do a little bit of that. Oh, there he is. That's the pre-evolved form of that big guy. Hi, buddy. Are you going to do a pose for me? No, you're just going to continue to look creepy. Yeah, it's kind of creepy. I don't know how I feel about it. Though I do wish I caught it, just because my team could use a Pokemon like him. I don't see a picture limit there. That's interesting. We're going to show off that one. This is basically like... Exactly like um, Pokemon Snap. Okay, so that's the Pokemon I really wanted to catch here in this route. But... Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. I mean, I'm not really a beggar at this point, because I haven't... I'm not low on Pokemon. There's my hiker. But, I don't know. Alright, Charlie, you got this. Okay, we're gonna scald him, because if I actually land a burn, then that would definitely kill him. Oh, good, he doesn't have sturdy. And Machop. Or Machop. I don't know how you pronounce it, but I call it Machop. Actually, I've always called it Machop. And you know what? It looks like I'm still doing incredibly well. So it's probably going to be a while before I stop and do a training session. Type advantages kind of make this game easy. Down we go. Down we go. Down we go. Down we go. There's the Pokeball I saw at the beginning. And all the way down. Hi again. So all the Seismic Sisters uh, have been spoken to. And now we are on to Route 7, which I hope has a Pokemon I don't know. Yeah, see, I guess all these Pokemon are going to be Fletchlings. That's the only reason I really went in here. Or that's the only reason I've really been um, stepping in the grass. Is because I wanted to see if there was anything besides a Fletchling. Apparently there's not. And also, apparently my giant combination of a bunch of fish wants to be petted. I'm not even sure how to do that. Okay. I feel like I'm flying through this a little bit faster than I should. But, I am almost at my timeline for the day. So, let us... Oh, quickly visit here. Hi. Wait, what? Rock piles with sport bubbles. Oh! This is Route 7. I could catch a, um, Pokemon in the water, but I already have my water type, so I think I'm going to stick to the tall grass. Can we clear this barrier, please? Free to pass. Mallow's trial up ahead, along Route 8, and you'll find it lush jungle. It's going to be grass-type Pokemon. Alright. Anyway, stick around to see how Musicals is doing. Er, shoot. I will get it right eventually, I promise. Stick around to see how Artistic Hell is doing. I'm Musikev, and this has been Pokemon Sun Nuzlocke Challenge. Stick around. Alola, it's Artistic Hell.
I was still grinding and exploring, so I took Mavis out for a spin so she could evolve. And she did. Talk about dark Pokedex entries. Sometimes they drink so much blood they can't fly anymore. Then they fall to the ground and become food for other Pokemon. Don't drink too much. Lessons with Rotom Dex. Every time I go to a Pokemon Center, they comment on how late I'm up. This is Pokemon Moon, guys. It's not my fault the clocks are off. Though, speaking of time, 27 hours into the game and I'm only on Route 7? Oh boy. You know what? After this Nuzlocke, I'm going to play this game for actual enjoyment. Though, this game is really enjoyable. I love all the places to go. I mean, there's a supermarket for Gudra's sake. I even bought a souvenir. But I had to stop prolonging the inevitable. I had to enter the Battle Royale. And who should I meet but the Masked Royale himself? Who is this mysterious masked man? He talks just like the Professor, but that can't mean anything. Oh, brother. So, in the Battle Royale, there's one loser and three winners? Now I kind of feel bad for targeting Null first. Here was my reasoning. I talk to the people, and they say he always wins. I could have taken out Hal, but I wanted him to have second place because I'd feel bad if I targeted him. Especially with super effective Artie. Yeah, I actually appreciate Hal and his cheery, carefree nature. He's just so... happy. 